Okay. Oh, I know wow. you're telling me to get away. I know. You're telling me to give me some space, aren't you? This is Dr. Tawana Grover, Superintendent for Grand Island Public Schools. I'm here at Star Elementary, where I, today I'm going to find out exactly what is a SECL coach, because I'm going to be changing shoes. Hello, welcome. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah Hart. I'm there. S-E-C-L coach. S-E-C-L coach. Yes, All social, right. emotional, cognitive learning. Okay. So here I get to spend some time with you today. I'm looking forward All to right. it. All right. Well, we're going to do some classroom observations. Um, we're going to kind of check in and pop in with some kids. And um, you never know, we might have to take a little run. Take a little run? Wow. After hearing all that, if I'm going to keep up with you, I think I have to change my shoes. So when we do a student observation, um, we're specifically looking for verbal aggression, physical aggression, and elopement. We're going to observe the student in the environment, and as they're interacting with staff and materials in the environment, we're going to watch for something called antecedents. And the antecedents are going to be what happens right before a behavior. So you really have to be a keen observer. So in the past, we have really been viewed as service providers. So we come in, we provide the intervention, we leave, go to our next school, come back in a week later, provide the intervention. Our students that need the most support, they need that consistency. And so rather than being a case manager, we're changing our role to be more of a support system. I kept trying to figure out if I was hearing him say something, but I haven't really heard him say anything. I haven't heard it very much either. And I know that he is bilingual. So I think Spanish is primarily spoken in home. And this is potentially his first experience away from home. So in any type of structure at all. So trying to get the routine and expectations down is sometimes really difficult for these littles. But there's a lot of really great supports going on here. I mean, the engagement is awesome, but the visuals that she's using, the sing-songy voice, and her body posturing and, and movement, that's all that gives cues to kids that, that need just a little extra support. Whenever you have a student with problem behavior, you can have someone like me come in, take them out of the environment, and work through that crisis with them. But if we're putting them back into that same environment without making any changes, that same behavior is going to occur. Mm -hmm. So to make a difference for our kids, we really have to think what can we change in our classroom, in our school, you know, to support you. Were you looking forward to seeing her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, oh yes. you're a former I teacher? I kindergarten yes. teacher, yeah, oh. and she's a, she's a first grader now, but Ready? Oh. we are still connected. So is that an identified student that we just witnessed? In? She needs some individualized programming and she does some specific skills that meet her needs, but yeah, she, she does a nice job in the classroom too. <gasps> Miss Carly! Look what we have. Do you want to ask Dr. Grover if she wants to come and feel these? Good, wow, Carly, let me see how they feel. I think that this has kind of been an overload for her. Okay. Oh, I know you're telling me to get away. Sometimes when we're asking kids to do really hard things, we've got to start with something that's okay to reduce that stress and anxiety, and then we try that transition again. Shoes. Sink. Try again. <laughs> Nice head. Okay, so do you have any questions about what that looked like yeah. when we were doing that? So we yeah, want to give as many prompts end, right? as we can, and we want to keep that momentum going so then she can get success. And then any of the problem behavior that you saw, I just redirected. If I stop the activity that I'm asking her to do, then we're actually reinforcing that behavior because she's telling us she doesn't want to do it. Okay. 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 All right. Thank, Thank you. you. I can see how this role has changed. It's indeed more encompassing now. The role used to be the behavior inclusion consultant and is now the SECL coach. In addition to working with students, that means that the SECL coach is empowering teachers by building their skills and giving them more confidence to provide direct support to students so that they can be successful every day.
Watching Sarah today really helped me to understand why social emotional learning has to be a priority for the district. And, and I think my eyes were open to understanding that is more than just working with each individual student, but it's about being there when that general education teacher or that paraprofessional needs you. The word behavior makes it seem like the kids are bad or they're choosing these things. And we all truly believe that kids can do well when they can. Um, when given the right supports, kids want to do well. I see the difference that Sarah had in Carly having a good day. I have walked in these teachers' shoes. I understand how hard it is when somebody comes into your classroom and hasn't walked in your shoes all day long. I'm not ever evaluating or judging. What I want to do is support our staff and our students so that when you go home at night, you feel good about the day. SECL coach Sarah, I think AKA superstar Sarah, the relationships between Sarah and the other teachers, it really speaks to the culture of STAR. There were so many times, whether we were in the classroom or in the hallway, and there were multiple people, and I couldn't determine who's a paraprofessional, who's a teacher, because there was so much support wrapped around the students and just this feeling of, I'm here for you. You know, Sarah was smiling when I arrived, and we went through a lot of different transitions throughout the day, some challenging, and she was smiling when I left. She just looked back at me and said, I love what I do.